Hello guys, welcome in this new video. We will talk about DMR, Digital Mobile in Simplex Mode. Did you observe this phenomenon? When programming a, a channel a frequency with slot, a different slot, there is no distinction between time slots. So your mobile or your terminal is able to decode both time slot program. Even if you program slot one or slot two, it decodes both. Why? Why there is no filter be, um, when you decode a, simple, a DMR simplex mode frequency? I will show you, I will explain you just now, but before credits. What happened? You can make the test on your own radio. I have with me an iTerra radio and a Motorola radio. Both radio have been programmed with two channels. First channel is on slot one. This is direct mode channel. And the second channel is slot two. Did you observe by using by calling on slot 1 or slot 2, there is no difference. For example, here, this radio is in slot 1. This radio is in slot 1. Test. test. 1, 2, one, 3. Two, three. Test. test. OK, okay good. good. Now, I switch the slot. Here, this is slot 2. Test on test slot, on slot two. 2. Oh, oh. Motorola decode. decode. Motorola, this radio is on slot 1, but it decodes the slot 2. Why? And here I'm on slot 1. Test. test. One, 1, 2, 3. three. Test. test. Oh. oh, I'm on slot 2. Uh, I'm, I'm here on slot 1, and I'm talking to a radio program in a slot 2. If I inverse, here slot 1, here slot 2. Test, slot, slot two, 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 two slot one. one. What? one. What's the, what's prob the problem? There is there a problem. problem. And here, slot, slot one, one from, from slot, slot two. two. Whoa, Whoa problem. problem. What is happening? Did you observe this phenomenon? You can make the test on your own, on your own terminal. What's happening? In DMR, in DMR simplex mode, there is no distinction between slot 1 and slot 2. A terminal plays audio on both time slots decoded, on both time slots 1 or 2. Even the program, it's not even, even there is a um, foot d'orthographe in French, uh, it is incorrect, even the programmed slot is different. Why? Why? Slot, so, with this phenomenon, a slot 1 user can talk to a slot 2 user, and vice versa. Why? Why there is no distinction between slots? This phenomenon is due to the DMR frame format. There, are, there is difference when a repeater is talking, is sending some frame, and when a terminal, mobile or handheld terminal, is talking. The frame are slightly different. As you can see, here, base sourced TDMA frame, this is a bus station, this is a repeater, this is frame sent by a repeater, and here, MS sourced TDMA frame, this is mobile station, so mobile or a handheld. As you can see, a part here is missing. The catch part, this is the common and the spin channel, is missing. In repeater mode, repeater continuously transmit frame with catch, but terminals, mobile terminals or handheld terminals, never transmit catch. First difference. What there is inside the catch? The catch contains 
a very important bit. This is the traffic control bit, the TC, traffic control bit. This is the slot used. This bit is equal to zero for slot one, or is equal to one for slot two. This bit is sent by the repeater and it indicates the, uh, the content, if the content of the next slot is slot one or slot two. So it is only sent by the repeater. This part is only sent by the repeater and it is decoded by all terminals that received the repeater frame to know if the, the slot that containing data or voice is, has to be decoded for, uh, for the by the handheld or not. And in simplex mode, here there is no catch burst, so there is no slot indicator. Okay, this is why we decode both slots uh, in my demonstration here, because there is no possibility to know if the slot is for a slot one or slot two. Okay, who sets slot timing and synchronization in DMR? This is the repeater. In DMR, the synchronization sets the timing between slot and it imposed the synchronization. The time slot number is provided as we see, as we saw before, uh, to the terminals via the TC traffic control bit in the catch common announcement channel field. And in simplex mode, there is no concept of time slot, no concept of timing. There is an automatic arbitration to prevent against, um, against scrambling, against uh, signal uh, inter interference. This fun. There is no concept, not exactly true, but in simplex mode, uh, with no distinction of time slot, there is no, uh, there is no concept of time slot. Question, can we still distinguish slot in simplex mode? Yes, it's possible, but not on all manufacturers, but it's possible. Some manufacturers offer a simplex mode with the distinction between time slot 1 and time slot 2. Time slot two. For example, there are Motorola and iTera. When you program a channel here on Motorola or on iTera, Motorola offer a mode direct capacity double. This is a dual capacity direct mode, DCDM. This is a checkbox that will specifically indicate the slot to use. And after you have to set the timing, as, as I saw, as I said here, there is an automatic registration. You have to set who is the light leader, who is the timing leader. So if you if you set eligible here, eligible, it's a, an automatic uh, arbitration between terminals. In iTera, this is pretty the same uh, checkbox. You just have to check TDMA direct mode and also the timing leader ineligible, prefer eligible or preferred. I recommend you to set eligible. So this is automatic. By using this, you will have a distinction between time slot. Okay, now how do they distinguish the time slot? By using the sync part on the DMF frame. Here, this is DMA frame, a generic burst frame. At the center, there is a synchroniz synchronization. Here, there is the payload, voice or data or signaling data on each part. And at the center here, there are 48 bits that will be used to indicate which slot is talking. There is no need to have the catch here. So in simplex mode, there is no catch on the, uh, between, uh, between a TDMA frame. So the standard will use this part to indicate if this is a slot one or a slot two data or voice. When you analyze 
the sync pattern, all these sync patterns are 48 bits included here that can be sent in a network, in a DML network. First line is for BS bus station. When you use a repeater, a repeater sends pattern like these two pattern when this is voice or data. An MS sourced MS mobile station, so it is a terminal with no time slot program, it always used this two, uh, this two synchronization pattern. And the third is RC reverse channel sync. I don't, I don't, um, I don't add some details. This, this will be probably an, an other video, but not, I will not explain uh, what is it here. But these are the three pattern used, uh, three synchronization pattern used to talk to each other. In DMR, um, in DMR, not dual capacity mode. This is, these are uh, the the, um, the synchronization pattern used to talk to each other. So, so there is no distinction to to slots. There is no possibility to others uh, to distinguish to distinguish if it's a time slot one or time slot two. In our case, when you check the TDMI direct mode or the dual capacity mode, the handheld will use a specific synchronization pattern if you are in slot one or in slot two for voice and data. So others listener will are will be able to check to, to verify that the, um, if they are concerned by the conversation, if they are programmed with slot one and you send a sync pattern on slot one, they will decode the conversation. And if they receive a slot two pattern, they will, uh, they will uh, stay mute. These are the synchronization specific pattern set uh, uh, into, the, into the DMR standard. This is how we can make the distinction between slot one and slot two in simplex mode. And this is standardized. But this, uh, this, uh, the using of this sync, sync pattern are not available on all brands. So when you enable the dual capacity direct mode or direct mode uh, checkbox, the station will explicitly specify the slot number in the sync part of the frame, at the center of the frame. At this time, the filtering of the slot will be reactivated or and you will be able to distinguish between time slot one and time slot two. Let's continue the demonstration. I have programmed two channel, slot one and slot two, in dual mode uh, direct uh, capacity. Here, I'm on slot one. I talk on slot one. Slot one good. In a TDMA direct mode, dual capacity mode. And then I just go on to the slot two now. Test. Test, test, this is not good. As you can see, the LED is green, so it's re receiving a signal, but the time slot is not the right time slot. Here, again, this is on slot one and here on slot two. Test from slot one to slot two. As you can see, the LED is blinking, so there is a signal, but it's not right. It's not the right, it's not the correct time slot. And if I just change here, slot two now and slot two now, test slot, slot two, two. Okay, okay, good. good. With dual mode, dual mode direct capacity mode, you are able to distinguish the right time slot. Now I'm on the conclusion in direct mode. Depending on the brand used, it's not always possible the slot used. For example, on this, uh, this type of terminal, you are not able to distinguish which slot is used. There is no dual mode capacity, uh, uh, direct mode dual, uh, dual capacity direct mode uh, available. 
Some manufacturers have been adapted, but not all of them. For example, Motorola and Itera adapt them. Be careful to check the interoperability of the different brand with each other. If you are, especially if your fleet, your radio fleet is heterogeneous. If you have different radios with different manufacturers and you want to use a direct mode uh, with time slot distinction on, uh, on the same frequency channel, you have to check before if all brands are compatible to each others. Okay, this is the end of this video. The final word, just thanks for watching and stay tuned. Some video will come soon after this one. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.